most of the time the adult onset form um, is underdiagnosed or misdiagnosed and that's really because um, it's much more rare than the other things in the differential diagnosis. Uh, among those include limb girdle muscular dystrophy which has many different forms but the common thread in limb girdle muscular dystrophy is that uh, patients um, will have shoulder and hip girdle weakness um, just like in adult onset Pompeii disease. Um, th the, um, the other things that seem to be more rare uh, mimics would be things like ALS uh, or multiple sclerosis um, but on, on careful examination uh, we find that these patients have evidence of muscle involvement. And once you've narrowed it down to muscle involvement um, it really um, becomes, becomes a little bit easier to start uh, making a diagnosis. So the most important thing is suspicion of the disease. It, once you think of the disease and suspect it, um, diagnosis is actually quite easy. Um, usually the first step is a screening test, um, which is called the dried blood spot assay. Um, and that's basically where you take um, some blood, you send it off to a specialized lab. They spot it on filter paper, very much uh, like the newborn screen is done. Uh, and then they, they read off the amount of enzyme activity in that spot of blood. Um, if it's low, then you need to go on to get a confirmatory test. And a confirmatory test is either the DNA test or getting an enzyme level in, um, in tissue. Uh, the tissue could be muscle, it could be skin, um, and it could be lymphocytes. Those are the, the three main tissues that we look in.